Good evening. How would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Sean Repke. Um, I'm the Midwest uh, manager for the Alaskan Brewing Company. I'm up in Duluth tonight uh, hosting a beer dinner at Grandma's. Terrific. Can you give me a little history about Alaskan Brewing? Yeah, so in uh, 1986, a 28-year-old couple by the name of Jeff and Marcy Larson um, got this crazy idea to start a brewery in Juneau, Alaska. Um, and if you're not familiar with Juneau, um, there are no roads in or out of Juneau. We are three sides open water and four sides of glacier ice field. Uh, but at that time, um, Jeff and Marcy were coming up with ideas of how they could spend more time together and also build a business. Um, Jeff was doing some home brewing on the side. Um, and then Marcy was also working at a library and doing some accounting work. And they started researching uh, the history of brewing in Alaska. At the turn of the century, there was actually nine breweries in Juneau, Alaska. Um, so the Alaskan Brewing Company is actually based off a turn of the century recipe which Jeff and Marcy feels that what we produce now as Alaskan Amber is pretty much spot on what was brewed almost 100 years ago, the same place we're brewing now. How many barrels did they start off with and how many barrels do they brew now? Yeah, you know, the, uh, the first year actually Jeff and Marcy had uh, 10 friends or volunteers basically working for um, misfills and that's how they paid them, it was, it was free beer. Um, and that first year, even the first uh, run they did, they brewed roughly 250 cases and sold out that night in Juneau alone. Um, we started, you know, roughly three to 500 barrels right around there. Um, and then in 2012, we ended just right around 150,000 barrels. Um, so we're right around 15th, 16th largest craft breweries in the country. Uh, we're only distributed in 15 states. This is Alaskan's second beer dinner at Grandma's in Canal Park. Um, and the event featured the Alaskan Porter. Which uh, beers are you excited about this year? You know, we got a ton of awesome stuff coming down um, the pipeline this year. Um, and then 20, going on 28 years now, um, 2014, we're gonna produce more beers than we've ever had in the past. Um, we just released a brand new year-round beer called Hypothermia, which is a double IPA. Um, that beer started as a draft-only beer. Um, we have a brand new IPA that we're gonna be launched in roughly a month called Icy Bay IPA. Uh, we also have a couple draft only beers. Uh, we just released a beer called Taku River Red, uh, which is based on the Taku River in Juneau. Uh, and then a beer called Gold Creek, which is a gold nail. Um, I'm really stoked for that, for the fact that 4.5% um, alcohol is definitely something that should appeal to any kind of beer drinker out there. So how many beers are in the lineup roughly each year? You know, actually this year alone, uh, we're gonna have six year round beers. Um, we're actually going to have a fall seasonal, so this is going to be the first year in our existence that we are producing four seasonals. Uh, we're also producing uh, four small batch beers along with three draft only beers. So how do they decide on a new beer and, and what to brew it? Um, that's Sometimes. definitely something that I'm stoked about how our company operates. Um, we still have the one barrel draft, yeah, draft system that Jeff and Marcy started on with. Um, and basically any employee, no matter um, what your position is inside the company, um, you can sign up on a sheet and brew with one of our brewers and you can tell them basically what you're shooting for. The brewer will build the recipe um, and get all the ingredients and then anything we brew on that one barrel, we pour in our break room. It's a three product tap tower um, and an employee can either have one beer on his lunch break or one beer when his shift's over. And basically all those beers are voted on and we kind of use that as um, the people that work for the company if they like it, we're going to go farther with it. Um, you know, and if we're not a fan, maybe we look back and see what worked well on it, what did it, maybe revamp the recipe. Uh, but we, you know, we have the privilege of doing draft only beer just for the state of Alaska. So we kind of use Alaska as a test market to see what the thoughts are on the new beers we're putting out. And a lot of the new stuff um, we've came out with in the last year started on that system. Uh, Free Ride APA started as a draft only beer, Hypothermia started as a draft only beer. Um, so I think it's an awesome way to test market a product, but also create a new buzz, bringing new stuff to the market. Uh, what do you enjoy about doing the beer dinners then? You know, I love beer dinners um, just for the fact to see how well beer actually is complementing the food pairings. And also, I'm not the greatest chef, so it's awesome that uh, a menu is built around the beers that I represent. So I think it's a great thing. I get to enjoy a couple beverages, tell the story of the Alaska Brewing Company, and enjoy some awesome food.
Well, Sean, that's been great. Uh, we love having you here, and we love the Alaskan beer dinners, and uh, hope for a good night. Thank you. Thanks for having me. That was great. Five minutes.